Acuity's iconic flagpole coming down today in Sheboygan. Semi crash under investigation near the town of Wilson. Con artists use lottery winner's name. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, service WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie, and this is Community News Review for Monday, July 29th, 2019. An accident investigation is ongoing after a semi ended up on its side here in Sheboygan this morning. It happened around 8.30 near the on-ramp to the County Road V and I-43, which is near the town of Wilson. The cause of the crash remains under investigation and no word yet on any injuries sustained in this crash. Sheboygan police are sending out reminders to folks regarding roundabouts. The roundabout law states that all traffic must yield to any semi or truck larger than 40 feet or wider than 10 feet. When approaching or in a roundabout, regardless of which lane the smaller vehicle occupies when in the roundabout with the truck. The state law passed in February of 2016 also states that the semi-trucks can legally occupy the space they need to negotiate a turn which often includes cutting into the next lane while turning in a roundabout. Furthermore, police say when two trucks enter a roundabout at about the same time or closely as to create the collision hazard, the truck, must, the truck on the right must yield to the truck on the left and, if necessary, reduce speed or stop in order to yield. According to the Sheboygan police, folks also need to remember to yield to any traffic already in the roundabout and to any traffic entering the roundabout on your left. For a listing of rules, you can also visit the Sheboygan Police Department's website. Three people charged in connection with a human trafficking investigation are due in court in Sheboygan court tomorrow. 50-year-old Randall Reichert of Kiel, 40-year-old Craig Burtis of Sheboygan, and 30-year-old Shakita Burton of Milwaukee are all facing prostitution charges. According to the court documents, they were all charged last month as part of a State Department of Justice online investigation into human trafficking. They were apparently busted after placing or responding to online ads for sex, and Reichert, Bardis, and Burton are all set to appear in court tomorrow. Another defendant in the case, Paul Louis of Plymouth, made his initial court appearance back on July 1st. One man is arrested after a suspected drunk driving crash from over the weekend here in Sheboygan. Police say the crash happened yesterday morning at around 2.30 at 3rd and Lincoln on the northeast part of the city. According to the Sheboygan police, a car with two men from Belgium apparently ran into a tree. Both suffered minor injuries and the driver was arrested for the OWI. There were 13 drug overdose deaths in Milwaukee County on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and early Monday morning. Three people died within an hour on Sunday, and the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reports that most recent death happened at 1.40 a.m. Monday at the St. Joseph's Hospital. The newspaper reported five of the other fatalities were reported within a five-hour period on Saturday. Two of the deaths are related, a man and a woman who died on North Plankton Avenue in Milwaukee on Saturday night. And autopsies are scheduled Monday to see if there are any other connections between these deaths. There are warnings about scams tied to the winner of the record-breaking Powerball jackpot from West Bend. There are several social media accounts in the name of Manuel Franco. He claimed a multi-million dollar Powerball jackpot earlier this year. One of the websites claims that Franco is offering to give people money, but the scam artists ask for your bank account information, and instead of striking it rich, they clean you out. Franco's lawyer says he is 100% not part of any public cash giveaway. 
a change in the state law is being considered that would allow lottery winners to remain anonymous. Supporters say that the change would do away with these types of scams. And finally, Acuity's high-flying iconic American flag is coming down today. The flag is coming down for maintenance and the painting will begin today on the 400-foot flagpole on Acuity's Sheboygan campus. Officials say that the routine and scheduled maintenance will help extend the life of the pole and they plan to raise the flag again by August 30th. Acuity planned construction on its flagpole in 2014 and according to Acuity's website it weighs about 420,000 pounds and is the tallest in the world. It takes about 500 gallons of paint to cover just the pole, which is 11 feet in diameter, and its base. And that's all we have for today. Join me again next time for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.